Hi guys, great to have you all back. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. In case you are new to my channel, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Guys, it is Monday and that means Roxy's weekly challenge. Now, uh, I have a prototype on my desk that looks nothing like Roxy's weekly challenge. Um, but let me explain. Last week, Rachel made a document holder. That was the challenge for that week. I absolutely loved it. I made two, if I'm correct. Yes, two of them. Put, of course, my own spin on it. And I really like them. Now, this week, Rachel did her own variation on the document holder. Again, I really, really liked it. Uh, however, I don't think I want to follow that same process again. But I will be totally inspired by it. So, this is going to be something that will hold some paper. But not in a way that Rachel made it. I am going to call it a scrap sampler. Now, I have a prototype on my desk. I made this one from scrapbook paper that I normally wouldn't use. Um, but the one that, I, that we're making now, I'm going to use a very lovely scrapbook paper. So I'm hoping it'll turn out lovely. Guys, I'm going to show you um, my prototype. Yep. And then also all the supplies that we are using. So let me show you. Let me open it up. You open it up like so. There you go. Ta-da. And then you have this. Now, this is sort of the basic for the document holder flippy thing, you see? Yeah. Now, the original idea uh, was to sort of fold all stuff together, then put it in the back of your journal so that you can use the papers later. Now, I have a little bit of a problem with folding papers that you are later going to use because there will be folds in them. And, but that's just me. So what I made is a sort of a scrap sam sampler. It has all sorts of papers in here, but not folded. They're not folded. The only thing is that they do have holes in the top. So you will lose a little bit of, um, of the top. But this principle is actually the same as the document holders. Now, we have big scrap. We have smaller scraps. We have all sorts. So I decided to make some pockets. So I made a pocket here, here and here. I did make a pocket here, which is ridiculous because why? <laughs> so when I'm not going to do this, po this pocket uh, in here. I'm probably going to do that one on the back. And then when you close it up, there's a pocket here. Now the pocket that was on the inside, I'm probably going to have on the back. So what will you use this for? Again, you could put this in the back of your journal and just put some... Um, uh, paper scraps in or some ephemera that you have left if you were by chance using a digital kit or what have you just to in case you want to uh, use it later on in the journal or have it as a standalone and just just send it to a friend like you know i have some lovely pieces of paper left i think you might enjoy it so have it as a standalone or in your journal so yeah, uh, we're going to make this. We're going to make this, but uh, with different papers. And I'm probably going to, you know, decorate it a lot more than just like so. Let me show you the supplies for paper. Well, it's called a scrap sampler. So need scraps. I have two types of scraps in here. I have my digital scraps. These are leftovers from digital kits and other images that I printed out. So some of these and also some scraps that you can write on like all sorts of these papers so different sort of scraps um the this has lots of pockets so probably some small pieces of ephemera that i have scattered everywhere <laughs> so that's it for the scraps now for the base i'm using scrapbook paper guys you don't need this one i love this one this is from stamperia and it's called calligraphy yeah uh, I've been hoarding it for a long time. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors in here. Nice and grungy. And it's all about calligraphy with pens and inks and different kinds of fonts and, you know, what have you. I need to start using this. So I'm using this one. Don't go buy this one if you don't have the money for it or don't want to. Use what you got, lovies. Use what you got. So that's it for the base and the papers. Now for tools... I'm using a paper trimmer. You can use your um, uh, scissors or a knife and a ruler. This is something I think you're really going to need. Uh, a scoreboard. Because we need to make some scores. There's going to be some measuring involved. But guys, I will make it sort of 
easy for you. Not a lot. So a little bit of measuring and a scoreboard. Of course, I'm going to use glue. So art glitter glue um, is my choice for today. Where would I be without my corner rounder? Corner rounder, not necessary. Uh, a circle punch for the for the closure. Yeah, this one. Um, I need a tool to punch some holes for the brads. So I'm either going to use my pokey tool or all, what you want to call it, or um, the smallest setting uh, of my cropper dial. Now, speaking of brads, we're going to need some brads. Uh, three, I believe three. So some brads. I'm going to do some inking, guys. Now, because of the color of the scrapbook paper, which is really dark, nice and crunchy, I'm going to use two colors. I'm using Frey Burlap and Black Soot. I never ever use this for, you know, inking edges and such, but let's let's just see how this works out. I have lots of bits and bobs and with bits and bobs, I mean labels, tickets, poster stamps. I'm probably going to use this. This is a beautiful um uh, washi tape by Elizabeth Craft Designs. This is the reminiscence set. Love that one. As you can see, red. Red is my sort of accent color for this. I might use some of the Tim Holtz um, small ones. This is Trim's Garniture. Because these are very small and maybe I want to use them. Now, there is one label in here that I am going to use. I'm probably going to have lots of questions about this one. These labels are fantastic because they say scrap sampler. Let me tell you a little bit about them. They're from a digital and I know for sure it is from Nick the Booksmith. I almost know for sure that it is a freebie, most likely. And I probably found it, uh, found it on her Flickr account. However, it has been like four, three to four years. I don't know, a couple of years ago. Um, so I don't know if they are available anymore. What I will do, guys, I will link Nick the Booksmith's YouTube account in my description box below. She will probably have all the links to her Etsy, uh, Facebook, uh, Flickr, whatever on there. So you can check out for yourself. Uh, these are lovely. Uh, if you do have them, find them. I printed them to two page, so mine are a lot smaller than the original ones. Yeah, so that's for the labels. Now, let's get going. For the base, I have chosen this uh, paper because I just love it. Now, we are going to fold something over. Um, so, this it will if it is directional, something will be upside down. But just, just a small piece, just this piece. So, I'm good with it. The first thing that we're going to do is take off... Be careful, love. Um, four inches. I'm going to take off four inches. I'm going to take it off from the bottom. Just... You know, have a look where you want to take it off. Uh, there you go. Hopefully it will be straight because this paper cutter is absolutely rubbish. Let's see. This is four inches. And then I'm going to line it up at the bottom. Hopefully the bottom. You cannot see, guys. I am very sorry because, you know. Four inches. Well, hopefully this is straight. There you go. Eight inches, four inches. We're going to start with a bigger piece, of course. Do not throw this out. This is our going, going to be the pockets and, you know, all the loveliness. Taking out my scoreboard. There you go. Decide what, what you want, what that you want to have on the outside and what on the inside. This is going to be my outside and this is going to be my inside. Now... It all depends if you want to do the scoring on the outside with the valleys and the mountains. And I don't know. I just always score on the inside and then fold them in. But hey, that's just me. We are going to make a couple of scores. Yep. I'm going to score from this side at three and a half inches. This is in the length, guys. So this is 12 inches. 12 by 8. I'm going to score at three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. Over here. As usual, I'm going to tell you why. Where's my prototype? Yep. It's this bit. This is three and a half. And the other side will also be three and a half. But we want to make a spine. Sort of a small spine so that we can put a lot of papers in here. I want the spine to be a quarter of an inch. So we scored at three and a half. Yeah. And now I'm going to score at three and three quarters. 
this is going to be the spine. There you go. It's tough paper. <laughs> already, I'm already like, I need to score a couple of times. Now, what we can do is measure, measure, measure. I'm not going to do it. Do my trick. Just, you know, fold it over or, you know, turn it over and do the same thing again. Scoring at three and a half. And three and three quarters. There you go. Three and a half, three and three quarters. Also on the other side, three and a half, three and three quarters. Now we need to flip our paper uh, in a portrait style. Yeah. And then we are going to make two more scores. Well, not really. One more score first. Am I? Yes. I'm going to make one score all the way from the top to the bottom. And that score is one and a quarter. Just one score. One and a quarter. I did this. Well, I didn't do this wrong with the prototype. Uh, but I thought to myself, if we're going to do it again, I'm going to do it in a completely different way. What is this? This is... <coughs> Uh, this score, yeah, this score over here. <clears throat> but we need to make another score because because we want to make a small spine. See, this one. Now, what I did with the prototype, I just scored all over the complete length, which meant um, that these pieces here, that are lovely, that I want to use again, had a score in them. And I didn't want to score in them. I just wanted it to be in the middle. So, now I'm going to score... Only the middle piece, which is going to be hard because this is very dark. Um, I'm just going to sort of uh, make a small mark with a black fine liner, hoping that you will see. Well, I did make a mark, but I put it on the wrong line. So, <laughs> so I'm going to uh, walk you guys through it. I'm going to make it a little bit more easy for you. I'm going to try to make it easy. Now, we have a score line here, and then we have these two, yeah? I put a mark on the first one, but you actually need to put it on the second one. So, I'm just going to make a small dot. Now, I did put a mark here, then I'm hope, hoping that I can maybe use the other side of the paper. Also going to put a mark on the other side. So, I am marking like the crossroads. But with the score on the inside and not on the outside, right? Okay, now what I can do is just find the middle and then score again. But I'm going to make it easy on myself and on you guys. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece out. Yeah, so this piece up here and there. This whole piece, we're going to cut it out. We already scored it, so it would be should be easy to cut out. I think that will make... A lot more sense than trying to find the middle and then scoring over there and it will be hard up until the second line lovey yep see like so also do this on the other side normally i would mark it with pencil so that i can erase it but you know it's such dark paper that's why i used like a marker well, a fine liner, uh, which of course you cannot erase. And you know, my cutting is rubbish, so hopefully I am sort of straightish. So we have this one now, yes? Just cut these corners off. Uh, I will probably use the other side. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. We're probably going to use the other side if we want to make pockets with them. Now we need to do another score, right? Put it back. We scored at one and a quarter. Now we need to score at one inch because we want a quarter spine there. So, scoring at one inch. This is much faster, much better than, you know, skipping this and then just, no, that would have been a disaster. So that's it. That's it for the scoring and the folding and the measuring. Yeah? Now, let's fold everything and see what lands where. I'm going to make the first fold on this line. So the middle, the inner line, not the outer line. The inner line, like so. I'm just going to burnish it down really, really well. 
Now, while we have this one flat, I am going to use my corner rounder. Um, you don't need this, guys, because I want to round the corners on this flap over here. And that works really well when this is just in one straight line. I'm going to use a larger setting. That is 10 over here. Yep. There we go. I'm going to do the same on the other side. These have, of course, two lines, right? So we need to score both of them. There you go. And I'm also going to round this corner over here. Ta-da! Now I'm going to fold the other one that is more on the inside. And hopefully, hopefully this will work. I have not used this paper before, so I have no clue. Um how this will fold and burnish and if it will crack or not because i don't have any experience with um stamperia paper and the other one well so far so good yeah right then of course we need to fold these two this one And the other one. There you go. So now this folds in and these will fold over like so. So this is going to be... Are we going to have it like so? Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Yes, we're going to have it like so. Fantastic. We have a boxy thing. Yeah, it's open on the, on the bottom. But that's okay because we're going to have papers in here. So this is the base. I am, did I? Yes, I am going to round all the corners. So I'm going to round all the corners. Here, also on the bottom. It's only four corners, so that's okay. Fantastic. Now, before I put like all the papers in, I want to make the pockets with you guys. Now, for all these pockets, I am, of course, going to use the strip that we have left over. Yes. So let's uh, take a quick look. I want to have like a side tuck here and then two pockets there. Not this one because that's just, you know, why? Um, and a small one here and a small one probably on the back. And I'm going to use these two probably to either make a small, very small pocket or um, the closure with. Yeah. So I want to have this strip because this strip looks amazing. Um, as the pocket here. Now, I also want to use this part. So, I'm going to have this on the top. I am just going to eyeball it, guys. I'm not going to give you measurement. Just eyeball it. I want to have it float a little bit from the bottom. So, not flush to the bottom and also not flush to the, to the top. I'm just going to put a small mark here. There you go. I'm going to cut this off. Using my small paper trimmer because I love this one way better. There you go. Fantastic. So this is the length of this pocket. And I'm going to eyeball it again. Maybe you want this to, have, to be wider. I am just going to do it sort of. Sort of over here. I really want the strip on here, of course. So I'm going to eyeball it like, like so. I'm just going to put it out. Whatever you want, Lobby. Whatever you want. Now, all the pockets are not going to have gussets. They're just sort of shallow pockets. I'm going to put one or two pieces in here. There you go. Our side talk. We can use this. Oh, we can use this. I really want to use this as a pocket. Now, I'm going to do all sort of figuring out which word I want where. But, you know, you might have some completely different paper, of course. So, you do you, lovies. You do you. I want to make a pocket with this piece. And I want to make a pocket with this piece. So, what I'm probably going to do is slit it just over here. However, the, these pockets are way too wide. So, first, I want to make it smaller. But I really want to have the word art on here. And that will be too long. So first I'm going to snip this off. Not necessary at all. This is just what I'm doing. 
because I want the whole word on here. Will it fit then? It probably will. So what I'm going to do is take this piece off. I'm, I'm not really worried about the bottom part. Just as long as the pockets on here fit. They need to be a little bit smaller. Well, that's the tiniest bit smaller. Love the tiniest bit. Now take off a little bit. A little bit more. Just that's just me trying to be precise, you know. Not necessary at all. So this is going to be pocket, and then I'm going to split just underneath art. The bottom pocket is going to be deeper than the top pocket. So we're going to have one over here. And oh, doesn't that look lovely? And we're going to have one over here. Right? Right. Now, what I did with this one. I rounded these corners and not these corners. I think it looks interesting. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to round these ones, the outsides and not the inside. And with these, I just rounded all four corners. Again, guys, not necessary at all not necessary at all but i just you know i enjoy rounded corners yep and not this side these the outsides outside only the outsides fantastic now we have these two pockets and these two and we have uh, lots left. So let's see what we can make on the back. Or even on the front. Like a small, a small sort of pocket here. I don't know if I will enjoy it. Breaking this up. Don't know. Let's concentrate on the back first. Do we enjoy it on the back? Like so or like so. We have this piece left. Ooh, yes. Yes. Small pocket. Large pocket. Oh. Make a decision. Make a decision. I'm going to have a larger pocket. I'm going to cut it over here. So it will not say ammo again. Or ammo. It will say N, probably. See? N. <laughs> Gonna have this over here. I'm just um, rounding corners on the top. Top pocket. See, we still have pieces left. Guys, let me think a little bit about um, the front pocket. I don't know yet. I have no clue what I want to do. I think in order to um, make that decision, I really want to make sort of the closure thingy first with the circles. And for this, I am just using, yeah, I'm using um, this as uh, the top and then probably have three, three of them. Can we make three? I'm going to punch out three circles. One. Two. Oh, look at the A. Yeah, I'm probably going to have the A on the top. Yes. I'm going to glue them together because that will make for a very sturdy sort of circle thingy. This is going to be the top, right? Yeah. Good morning, Art. How are you doing? How was your weekend? Did you enjoy yourself? Having the time off. Yep. So three of them. And I'm going to let these dry. Now before we glue on all the pockets, I want to do some inking. These are all the pockets that we have so far. Yes, and these are also the fronts of the pockets. I want to do some double inking. This is not something that I normally do, but I think this is the perfect project to sort of try it. 
Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the lighter color, which is Frey Burlap in my case. And I'm only doing this, guys, because I have very dark paper. If you have like pink and uh, green florals, don't do this technique because black won't look that uh, that well, I guess. So um, instead of just doing the edges, I'm just going to sort of smear it. I'm just going to wipe my dauber over it. So it will have a much um, bigger sort of brownish edge. Can you see? I'm just sort of going to smear it. Like I'm wiping it off. Like I'm wiping it off. Yeah. I'm going to do it with all of them. Just wiping it off. Having a big old brown sort of smudgy um, sort of edge on it. If I was only going to use this paper in this color, we'd be done right now. Because, But on these ones, and let me show you, it sort of will not really show up a little bit because there's some sort of um, lighter image on there. But most of it won't show up. So not necessary at all to do this, but I just wanted to try it. Oh, yeah. Oh, the inking already did the cover, guys, because you don't want to see me ink for 25 minutes. But this is a new technique, something that I have never done before, so I might be doing it completely wrong. I'm just going by my gut feeling at the moment. Right, okay. Then I'm going to take out a black suit. If you don't have black suit, uh, maybe have hickory smoke or something else that is sort of darker, yeah? So, this is very juicy. There you go, because I never use it, never use it. Now, I'm not going to just smear it. I'm just go sort of going to tap the edges of the paper. Just the tops. I will take a little bit of the corner. I want to see a little bit more black here on the corner. See, that's what I like. But just tapping the edges. A little bit on the corner. We just want to frame it. Again, a corner here and a corner there. Let's look at this result. Isn't that fantastic? See the difference? I I do enjoy the difference. And especially, probably, I'm just going to do one more. On the black ones. Yes. Because it just puts a little bit more emph emphasis on the, the dark color in here. On the corners I want a little bit more. But I would not recommend this on um, lighter color papers or like happy, happy papers. But you could do um, is if there's a lot of pink in here, then uh, the uh, instead of the black soot use uh, pink or what have you. Fantastic. So I'm going to do all the other ones as well. And then um, we're going to do the closure first and then the pockets. For the closure, we're going to need a brad. Now I picked out three brads, the three the same ones. Uh, and I have these that looks like that look like screws. Isn't that great? I know I uh, probably Tim Holtz has some of these. Uh, these I've had for a long, long time. Probably bought them at AliExpress or from some other brand. Uh, I just like them. So I'm going to use these. Now we need to sort of figure out. I'm going to flap this open for now. For now guys. Uh, to see where we want this circle to be. Because I want it to cover almost half of the flap on the outside. Almost half. See? Like so. What did I do, did I do here? think again see like a little bit more than than one third see covers it over here first i want to the, sort of figure out what the middle is i'm gonna do it on the back because the a is just making me sort of focus outside of the middle because i think this is probably the middle now this is a rather big brad so instead of using a pokey tool on this one am i now I'm gonna. I'm now I'm gonna use a pokey tool. Why? Why? 
let me tell you. Because we also need to make a hole here and my crocodile will not fit. It won't fit. Right, so I'm going to poke a hole first in the circle. It needs to be a bigger hole because the brat needs to come through. Will that fit? I'm just going to try, guys. See if, we, if I have to make it bigger or not. No, this will fit. You won't see that it's an A anymore then. But that's okay. Big hole. And then, what I'm going to do. Place it where I want it. Getting my marker out. I'm just going to put a small dot. See, over there where I want it. That's how I measure it. Great, now I need to punch a hole here. Careful, lovey, careful, because this is just one layer. Perfect. Now, we need a brat, we need this. We need that. There we go. I'm going to put it through. Is this big enough? Hopefully it is. Yes. And I'm doing this before I um, glue down my pockets. There you go. You will... Well, what you could do is cover this with um, one of the pockets. You could. But here's the problem. The bread is very heavy. And I think... It will get in the way. So I'm probably going to do it like so. Yeah. Probably going to do it like so. Let's see if it, if it worked at all. There you go. Flipping this under. Will it hold? It will. Ta-da. Closure. Closure. Okay. Now, let's glue down um, all these lovely pockets. I'm going to start with this one. Do you want this on the outside or on the inside? Oh, definitely on the inside. Yes. I'm just gluing on three sides. Yeah, because this is the opening. If you want to, guys, you can, you know, have uh, thumbnails, uh, thumb holes in there. Thumbnails? You know, notches. Thumb notches. Thumb holes. Notches. What? Nachos? I need lunch. No, I want nachos. I can tell you, I do not have nachos. There we go. I'm just using art for this because I can make a small line of glue. Here's one. I want to have another art over here. I'm using art for art. Uh, top loading pocket, guys. So, keeping my fingers there. And be sure to have it a couple of millimeters removed from the fold, yeah? Because otherwise, it won't fold nicely anymore. And then this one. Way over here, and then all the way over there. So I'm leaving room on all edges. Not a pocket here, love. No, not a pocket here. I am going to do a pocket on the back. Over here. It's upside down. <laughs> oh, no, it's not upside down. You did this on purpose. I was like, why did I put it upside down? No, love. The circles need to be on the top. Yes, not upside down. I don't really mind things being upside down, but if it is really directional with letters and such, my brain, it just doesn't want to. It just doesn't want to. There's splattering here. You see that? Mm. Yeah. So I don't, won't, don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> did that myself? No, he didn't. Mr. Stamperia did. So, all pockets are... In. Will it still close? Of course it will. 
pocket here? Oh, I think so. Just like sort of a side tuck thingy, right? And just rounding corners here. I think so. But first, first guys, let us do like the scrap bits where we made this for. I took out a whole bunch. These are papers that you can write on, some grid paper, some lined paper in different sort of uh, sizes. And then these are all sort of in the grunginess colors with calligraphy on them. And this is a uh, German font. I just wanted to stay a little bit within the style. So no flowers or butterflies or what have you, just, you know, a little bit in this sort of style. Um, let's see how big we want the pieces to be. This is way too big, of course. So I'm just going to rip it. I'm just going to rip it. And a little bit from the other side. I don't know how many uh, pages I want to have in here. Just a couple of them. That is very, very crooked now, love. Yes, I know. Let's see. Can we fix it? We cannot. We can only fix it with scissors. Will this fit? Yes, it will. I just want them to be a little bit smaller, of course, than the, um, the whole page. I love this one with the maps on here, but it is too big. It says the world. Doing it again. But no, it needs to be smaller anyway a little bit shorter i'm just gonna take the bottom piece off there you go that's two what will we do for writing papers that's nice um i don't i think this one is too small i'm not gonna use this one i am however just gonna snip this off there you go yep and then this one as well and this one so we're gonna have three of those one two this is way too wide and i really don't want oh, this is lovely though yeah i'm gonna keep this part not this part so i'm gonna take off the bottom end it's supposed to be a scrap love yeah i know i know i know um i'm gonna do it like so <laughs> yes because i really want this to be on here what else i had my own um i have a piece that is actually from one of my freebies where is it where is it it's with the german font oh here it was upside down Guys, I uh, a lot of you are watching my older videos, and I love it. I, um, um, I have nothing to say about this because I really enjoy it and seeing your comments and such. But also, a lot of you guys are still requesting for the freebies. Yes, the freebies are available, but I am not um, sending them out via email anymore. They are all on my Kofi website. So if you watch one of my older videos that uh, has a freebie in them and I'm like, just ask me for it, just email me or whatever, whatever. Uh, and that was really, really fine when I had like 500 subscribers. But if you have 15,000 something, um, oh, that is lovely. What are we going to have on the cover? I don't have the time anymore to... Uh, send all the freebies out so the all my freebies are on my Kofi website if so if you hear the word freebie go there they are there uh, i think i will have this on the cover do you want to have it upside down no i don't think so yes i'm gonna alternate them of course here and here this one here this one this one this one and we're gonna have the the whole world on the bottom see it'll look like this do we want more do we want more no love that's enough that's enough great i'm going to uh, take out some clamps just to secure them you could also use paper clips lobbies i just want to secure them Doing this, so all the papers 
are stuck together. And then we need to put them in here. Yeah. Again, like so. But also really want to attach them. Um, let me see, let me see. Will not a clamp work? Do I still have room then to put an eye, uh, a brad in? I think so. I believe so. Look at this construction. It's like, what are you doing? Secured. It's secured. Attention, attention. It is secured. I am using the smaller setting of my... I'm hoping I can still reach it. Of my cropper dial. And I'm going about it from this side. Yeah. Can it fit through? Oh, make it easy on yourself, love. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah. I'm putting it all the way to the back. Because I really want to make sure that all the papers are in there. There's one hole. Flipping it over. Oh yeah, oh, the screw. It is in the way. Hold it, hold it. Please hold it. Don't move it, don't move it. There you go. Now hopefully they're sort of in the same spot. Hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Taking out my brats. Putting one through. Yep. There you are. And then, where's the other one? Are all the papers in? There you go. Oh, lovely, right? Yes, absolutely love it. There you go. Papers are in. And they're sticking out a little bit, so I will trim them. You don't need to. You do, absolutely don't need to, but I will trim this one. Um, and then mm, I'm going to put some other bits and bobs in. Some small ephemera pieces. And I'm, I'm going to have a look at how much time we have left to do some small decorating. But I really want to do some small decorating. We have some time to decorate and I also want to add this pocket. I rounded the corner and did all the inking. I just rounded one corner. So we need to glue here. And here. Now what I did guys, I already sort of picked out all the ephemera pieces that I want to have in all the pockets. Because going through all them will take an hour. <laughs> there you go. So let's start decorating here on the inside. I really want to have the scrap sample uh, thingy up there. Let's see what which one did I want to have up there. Yes, like this. Um, but it's too big. But also I was thinking maybe because we have some pieces left like this. I just want to back it. See, like so. So I'm just going to glue this on. I inked uh, all around this with the black soot. This label. I want to put this on here. Leave a little bit of room everywhere. Yeah. I'm just going to snip it with my scissors. Really dangerous. Yeah. And then what I want to do is um, round the corners on the bottom with the smaller setting. Here's one. Here's the other one. Inking it again, of course. First with the brown, well, frayed burlap. Then with the black. Just these edges. What I'm going to do, I'm going to attach it, but have it sort of overlap. Like so, like sort of a tap, but then not a tap at all. Just to add a little bit more interest. There you go. Ta-da, decorated. 
Um, yes, I picked out. What did I pick out for this one? Oh, these. Yes, the bigger ones. I have this ice coupon. I um, wanted to add something that is in the style and maybe had a little bit of the um, red elements on here. This is a printed a cabinet card. These are all in my scraps, guys. And it has a, like a red number on here. So I really want to show the red number. And then, isn't she cute? It's so, so lovely. I want to have her sort of behind here peeking out. Do we still see some of the red? Yes, we do. There you go. Like so. But I also want to have scrap sampler over here. So I have these two labels. This is from Michelle to Junk John Studios, probably from her fall kit. And then do this and this. Yeah, sure. Do we want some tape? I was thinking about adding a little bit of tape. A little bit underneath. Let's just check. And there. And there and there. Oh, definitely. Most definitely. You can totally use a glue stick for this, guys. Art was just out, so that's why I'm using art. You won't really be able to see uh, what it says on the tape, but that's okay. I don't mind it. Just as long as there was a little bit of red. There you go. Scrap sample for this pocket. What did I get? I got these two. A little bit of red in here. That's why I chose this one. And again, lots of red there. And now I want to have this ticket, this label, this poster stamp. That much? Really that much? Yes. Just I'm just going to do it. Lovely ticket. Yep. Inked a little bit all around it. Another one of Michelle's labels. Oh, look at the number. You're gonna, I'm going to cover up the number. I'm sorry. But there are lots of numbers on there still. And then this one. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, this is an old... German postage stamp from 1973. So let's call this vintage. Yep. And see, uh, the card covers up the brad, so it's good. Then for this one, I have inked all around one of my um, labels from Red Ephemera. And I have this one. There you go. I have no clue where this is from. Printed it from somewhere, maybe from Michelle. Could be Michelle. I don't. I don't know. But it's lovely and it's red and you know it's in there. There you go. And then I have like another poster stamp with another label thingy. Yeah. This will not say scrap sampler. Uh, Czechoslovakia. Yeah, that's the, where the poster stamp is from. I could not make out a date. Yep. Oh, that was upside down. This is the right setup, is it? Yeah. There you go. Now, on the front, um, I made a pocket. The pocket here. What did I want to put in the pocket? Uh, this one. I have this one. I have no clue where it's from. I'm just going to put it in here. Like so. Then I want to use a bit of tape here. And then put scrap sampler. Or maybe over here. I think like so. I just wanted to have a piece of tape on here. Let's see if that will look nice. It will. Um, do we want to back this one as well? Or maybe I still have another piece left, don't I? Where? This one. Because this is like the lighter color. 
yeah, I'm going to put it on here. I'll take this bit off. Oh, that was so not straight. Love, have it straight. There you go. Rounding corners. Yes. Quickly checking the time. <laughs> With a little bit of brown and of course a little bit of black let's have storage label on here scrap uh, scrap sampler not storage label storage label where'd you come up with that one scrap sampler lovey yeah this needs something Let's see, do we have another poster stamp? It's from France. King of Norway, that's the wrong color red. Oh no, this is also German. Oh, let's have it German then. I'm okay with that, there you go. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, one more, one more to go. Do we need something here? We do, because I have this one left. And I inked it and such, so oh, why not use it? I'm just going to put it over here. Yep. And then on the other side, we have this pocket. And I have... Sort of a journal card, small one. I cannot tell you where I got all of these from because these have been in my stash probably for a long, long time. So there you go. And have this over here. Piece of tape with a piece of tape. Come on, tape. You can do it. Handle with care. I'm not going to rip it. I just want the part that says handle with care. Twice. <laughs> really handle this with care. But now I have a piece of this left. So that will probably go somewhere. Handle with care. Scrap sampler. Scrap sampler with care. Okay. Yep. Do you want this here? No, because there's already this here. Where do we want it? Blah, 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 blah. There? No, no, somewhere. Oh, let's do it over here. Just on top here. Why not? Why not? Because of, you know, cute. I think, guys, that's it. This is all we have left from the... Um, from the scrapbook uh, pad. Yeah? I'm going to add it. I'm just going to do this. There you go. Add another piece here. And uh, probably another piece on the back. Like so. Fantastic. Let's look at the end result. Here it is, the end result. You might notice I added a little more washi here and there. I added a little bit over here and then flipped it over like so. Also on the top here. And on the inside, but I'll show you later. Um, why did I do this? Because I was really inspired by a friend of mine. Her name is Barbara. She has a YouTube channel, Buy Bar Paper Lover. You might remember I sent her an envelope uh, with the 10 item challenge. I believe last week or the, or the week before. I don't even know anymore. Well, she did the project, made a video, a long one. It is absolutely fantastic. I loved seeing how she created it. 
because she so sort of showed me her thought process and in my opinion she is a brilliant artist one of the best out there so i'm linking her video be below please go check her out because she's amazing she inspired me to do all the flipping over of the just love it yeah so you open it up Add a bit more of the washi tape here. We have one, two, three pockets. Fill them with pieces of ephemera. These are also scraps, guys. I have these in my sort of scrap bin. With all the scrap samplers on here. I really love this idea. Mm, then you have all your papers that you can use. You can open these up. Yeah. And then on the back, uh, we have another pocket. And with all the beautiful tapes. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed this project. Thanks again to Rachel for um, the inspiration. So I was inspired by two ladies, Rachel and Barbara. Love it. Guys, I'll be back on Wednesday. This Wednesday with my regular schedule. I'm going to do a crafty project with you guys. But I might have an announcement tomorrow um, on my community page. So not a video, just a small announcement telling you something about the 100 day project. Uh, I believe it's starting this Wednesday. Now, I did join in last year and I absolutely loved it. I have a playlist about the 100 Day Project. I absolutely love it. However, I have a nice schedule going at the moment. This allows me to uh, film every other day, which is better for my health. <laughs> but I really want to do something. I am brainstorming at the moment how I can incorporate the 100 Day Project with my normal schedule so that you can enjoy it and that I can enjoy it. So I have lots of ideas, but I know I have no clue how this all will come together. So don't be angry with me if my announcement tomorrow is, I am sorry guys, I'm not doing a 100, a 100 day project. Um, but I will let you know tomorrow in a normal sort of post. And I'll also post this on my Instagram. So I'll be back again for sure on Wednesday with the normal schedule. Hope to see you then. Bye guys.